Hello, this is Mike Kaufman, the author of the Motor Oil Bible, and uh, thank you for watching my video lecture, Switching from Petroleum to Synthetic and Back Again. And uh, before we uh, get started with the meat of this video, uh, I need to take care of the necessary disclaimer. Unfortunately, it is necessary for me to issue this disclaimer indicating that the information I'm providing to you in this video is for entertainment purposes only. By watching the remainder of this video and or putting into practice any of its recommendations, you are releasing me from any and all liability that may result. Although I am a professional in the area of lubrication and filtration, you are advised to research these issues fully before deciding to implement any of my suggestions, and your decision is ultimately your own and releases me from all liability. So the question is, is it okay to switch back and forth? Will I damage my engine or cause leakage if I switch back and forth from petroleum to synthetic? And uh, the answer is no, you won't damage anything. Um, in the past, there were sometimes incompatibilities between petroleum and synthetic motor oils, but that isn't the case today. Um, as long as you're switching from one automotive oil to another, you will encounter no adverse reaction switching in either direction, whether from petroleum to synthetic or synthetic to petroleum. Now keep in mind, I say from one automotive oil to another. That doesn't mean from an automotive oil to some other type of oil or back again. Um, we're talking specifically about automotive oils here. Um, or, you know, if you are using power sports oils and it's a four stroke, then from one four stroke oil to another four stroke oil or, you know, something along that. You need to stay within the same, you know, genre or the same, you know, type of oil, basically, is all I'm saying. Um, you can switch back and forth between petroleum and synthetic as many times as you like. Um, today's automotive oils are completely compatible with each other, so feel free to switch at will. Um, but there's always a but. Um, although the oils are completely compatible, that doesn't mean that there are no problems to watch out for. Um, you need to watch out for leaks in older vehicles, or at least be aware of the issue. Um, even if no leaks are currently visible, your seals uh, and or gaskets may be in pretty rough shape, and introducing a high detergency synthetic could expose those leak points. And uh, what, what basically is happening there is deposit buildup from petroleum oil usage will generally form first in and around the cracks and crevices in deteriorating seals and gaskets. Um, the, uh, the seal conditioning agents in petroleum oils are not exactly phenomenal and so over time your seals and gaskets will begin to crack and dry out and those are the first places where those deposits are going to begin to build up and oftentimes those deposits um, will seal up areas that would otherwise leak like a sieve. But uh, once a high detergency synthetic has been introduced to the system, these deposits are then cleaned out. And uh, once those deposits are gone, let the leaking begin. Uh, you know, the, the cracks are revealed and the oil begins to flow, resulting in a big mess and potentially an expensive leak. Um, so, Unfortunately, moving back to petroleum won't seal up the leak. It's not going to fix the problem. So once the problem exists uh, and, and a leak has been exposed, only replacement of the offending seal or gasket is going to actually seal up that leak. So uh, you know you need to you need to bear that in mind. So. Now, the question might be, well, what is considered to be old? And uh, these are rough estimates, but uh, in, in my opinion, any gas engine that's over 10 years or 125,000 miles, or any light or medium-duty diesel engine that's over 15 years or, or 200,000 miles, uh, those I would consider to be old and potential uh, leakers. Um, you know, it's not necessarily the case, they may very well not leak at all, but they certainly have the potential to do so if you make the switch. Um, so, you know, are these numbers set in stone? Absolutely not. Uh, you know, how you drive, where you live, the frequency of the oil changes and other maintenance practices, 
all can play a role in you know establishing just how likely your vehicle is to leak if you make the switch to synthetic so just you know use my numbers as a guide uh, good maintenance may increase uh, you know those numbers in other words you may be able to use uh, synthetic in a little bit older vehicle than what I'm suggesting if it's been well maintained uh, in opposition to that poor maintenance and or extreme service may decrease those numbers in other words you know a younger vehicle with less mileage may actually end up leaking just simply because it's been maintained poorly or has been through extreme service so you know use your head use my numbers as a guide but kind of use your head and uh, you know adjust as uh, you know accordingly so um, you know now you know and uh, as G.I. Joe used to say, knowing is half the battle. Um, so I appreciate you, uh, you know, watching this video. And uh, I, I should probably let you know that uh, if you've gotten here soon enough uh, to the MotorOilBible.com website, uh, you'll have an opportunity to get your hands on one of a thousand free copies of the Motor Oil Bible that I'm giving away. Now, the Motor Oil Bible has been completely rewritten and expanded uh, from its original version version and is just now being released here at the end of June, early July 2010. Um, so if, if you've managed to get to the website soon enough during the pre-launch period, uh, all you need to do is follow me to stay up to date. So either, uh, you know, by Twitter or Facebook or MySpace, uh, RSS feeds, any of those methods will be uh, useful for receiving updates on new blog postings, um, the the giveaway offer for the book and also the monthly blog giveaways that that I do so use any of the methods that I have made available on this motoroilbible.com webpage uh, to follow me uh, you know those are all going to be good methods to receive notifications about updates and whatnot um, in addition, uh, from here, right on this website, you can actually register to become a member of the blog. It doesn't cost you anything, but uh, becoming a blog member, uh, not only will you receive timely notifications about updates to the blog itself, and also you know the giveaways, uh, you know, the giveaway of my book, and also the monthly giveaways that I do. Um, you know, you as a blog member will automatically be entered in every monthly gadget giveaway drawing so each month um, I will give away you know some sort of automotive gadget or gizmo or tool or you know whatever it might be but something of value and uh, blog members just by virtue of being a member uh, will receive one entry in that drawing every single month so um, you know feel free to follow me by any other methods that you like you know Twitter Facebook whatever but uh, it might also benefit you to register as a blog member and receive those notifications as well as an entry in the monthly giveaway drawing. Now, uh, I suggest that you tell your friends and relatives. Uh, telling them about this site could significantly increase your chances of getting a free copy of the Motor Oil Bible, and I'll tell you how that works in just a minute. But uh, in order to spread the word about this site and about the book, just look below this video and you'll see a little envelope icon. And if you click on that, or if you click on the spread the word button to the bottom right of this video, um, you will be uh, presented with a, a dialogue that allows you to spread the word via any of the social networking sites out there, uh, through email and, and whatever other you know avenues you might want to choose. You'll probably find them there. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you to spread the word. And the reason that benefits you is that uh, every person that you send to this site is potentially an extra chance for you to get your hands on a free copy because um, when I make the announcement that the thousand copies are available there's going to be a rush of people that come to the site to get their copy and if you miss out on it if you're not available or out of town or something when I make the announcement but one of the people that you've recommended to the site gets in and gets their copy um, they have my permission to give one copy of that book to anybody that they like and I'm assuming if you send them here then they would want to give a copy to you. So, thanks a bunch for spreading the word about this site. I hope that you found this information useful, and I hope that uh, you know you can increase your chances of getting a free copy of my book. So, uh, take care and have a great day.